welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about Porcupine Ridge, obviously you can see it in the title. When I was reading reviews on all trails, it seemed like a lot of people actually struggled to find the trailhead. So I made sure that I read all the, all the tips and checked the trail beforehand, but I got lost too. <laughs> so I thought this video would be very uh, informative in a way for some people. So I'm just gonna go off of the All Trails recording history that I have. It's not 100% accurate because I forgot to um, start recording until like about a kilometer or 900 meters in. You start off pretty flat. You just walk along the uh, river, I guess. Basically, you will see four bridges. So one is like a legit bridge <laughs> and you cross the bridge and then there's a trail right in front of it that goes to a different trail. So that is not the way to go. You actually do a sharp left turn and go down near the water. So I'll, I'll insert a clip as I speak. So you go down and then you follow the river until you hit three log bridges. But I think it's it's kind of hard to keep track of the number of logs that you see because there are few little ones and like I, I was trying to look for the bridge but it was like so easy to miss. Basically what you just have to remember is you go up the bridge or sorry you go up the river up until it kind of splits into two so there's it goes left it goes right i used a big log bridge and then i crossed to the middle section where it kind of looks like an island almost that is the right place to go so just go to the very end and there's a little tiny little tiny little stick that somebody just stuck on the ground and that is the trailhead so we just crossed the bridge over there and then we just kept walking and there's a little stick here i think this is the right way there were other people that were struggling to find the trailhead so we were trying to like find it together and one of the guys he was right there in front of the stick but he still missed it so just know that you are going to the middle section um, when the river splits into two and then you go just straight up and then you'll find the trailhead and after that it's so easy so my stats i have it up here so the total distance that i recorded was 14 kilometers and elevation gain is 744 meters and the total time so moving plus resting is 5 and 41 Five, five hours and 41 minutes so that is again kind of inaccurate because we struggled a lot in the beginning trying to find the trailhead and also um, I didn't start recording at the beginning I thought it was really tough especially in the beginning because it's so steep at some point like I was like literally climbing up the mountain but once you get up to the top, it's pretty easy. Like it kind of gets a little sketchy with some areas, like there are some loose rocks. I've seen some people just like stop there and then that's the end of their hike and they would just go back down. I think that is totally fine if you are um, a little bit uncomfortable. And like I said, there's loose rocks and you might have to climb a little bit, scramble a little bit. So I think that's totally fine. But my mom and I, we were like, we struggled so much in the beginning and we're finally up here. So we're just gonna keep going, make it worth it. So we kept going and I think it was the best decision ever. It, the view was incredible. You could see beautiful mountains everywhere, like 360. And it was a perfect day for hike because it wasn't that hot. What I recommend if you go in the summer is bringing like a light jacket or even like a 
a plaid or something like a long sleeve shirt there's no trees or anything covering it might be a little bit too hot so make sure to like wear a hat or sunglasses or bring in sunscreen so yeah that's about it i mostly wanted to just talk about how to find the trailhead because it seems like a lot of people actually struggled thank you for watching and see you soon bye